Hey, this is Matt Foster from Fostering, CEO of the Salesforce Consultant and ISV Partner. Uh, we've been doing Salesforce work for uh, over 10 years, and personally, I've been doing it for over 15 years. And I want to talk about Salesforce Small Business. If you're like most Salesforce customers used to seeing pricing like this, $165 per month, $330 per month for users, um, and it's just a really expensive tool. And that's the tool that we've known, that we've loved, this enterprise edition of Salesforce, and it works really great. I mean, you're not going to outgrow it. You're going to be able to stay on that. You can add other SKUs, things of that nature. But I want to talk about Salesforce Small Business. So on this page, if you click back once and go to Small Business, you'll see there's the Starter Suite. It used to be called Salesforce Essentials, I believe. Uh, now it's called the Starter Suite. And I checked out Essentials quite a few years ago, but never took a look at the Starter Suite. So here's a review of the Salesforce Starter Suite. And uh, if you have a small business, uh, one big caveat is you have to have less than 10 users. So if you have more than 10 users, you do need to upgrade and go into a larger uh, license type. But if you have less than 10 users, you do sales, service, and some marketing, I definitely think you should consider Salesforce uh, Starter Suite. So as we log in, you'll see it has a homepage, a pre-configured homepage by that, uh, showing your leads, opportunities, contacts. Right when you log in, there'll be this whole card setup. I'll kind of guide you through how to import contacts, how to uh, configure Salesforce the way you want it configured. Uh, you'll have recent records, cases, and even real easy user interfaces to customize um, just about everything. You'll notice that there's this left sidebar, and I'm going to go one by one and review each one. So in contacts, you have your contacts, right? And really just a nice layout. It's a nice, simple layout. It's going to give you your basic information here. You can create custom fields. You have setup. You can go to objects, create all your custom fields. You have your activity timeline for uh, creating emails, sending emails right from here. You can sync your um, Gmail or your uh, Outlook calendar or Outlook uh, to integrate your email and send emails right from here, utilizing email templates. You can create events. You can log calls. And log tasks, really everything that you can do in your typical sales cloud. You've got opportunities and cases as well, and files. So just really pretty comprehensive. Um, actually, in enterprise, opportunities don't uh, link to a contact as easily as this is. So really impressed. Next, let's go to accounts. So again, accounts, you have list views. Uh, you know, you're not going to have all the features. There's a lot of great features with list views in Enterprise, with like Intelligence View and Kanban and things of that nature. But it's just a nice list view. Oh, wait, I might take it back. Oh, there's Kanban. How about that? <laughs> so no Intelligence View, but you do get Kanban. Again, account, basic information, activity information, contacts, opportunities, cases, files. Really just nice and simple. Really nice and simple. I really like it. Let's go to sales. So now if you want more of an interactive uh, or traditionally used, you've got your leads, contacts, accounts, opportunities. Uh, you can add products and price books. So if you're a product-based company, uh, creating products and then adding those to opportunities is available for you. Uh, it's got your calendar. I'll show your calendar right in Salesforce. Now it doesn't have your typical reports and dashboards, but it does have analytics. And the analytics are pretty nice. So you can see a lot of pre-built analytics here. So cases closed, service history, cases by opportunity. Um, there are some dashboards you know, pre-configured here. I don't have much data in here. So really some great feature sets just out of the box that gets you up and running right away. Same thing for service. So for your service team working their cases, uh, you can use quick text, get analytics, and even create knowledge articles for your service people. So knowledge articles are going to allow people to answer cases more effectively and efficiently based on pre-written knowledge articles. Now here's the feature that really kind of blew me away that this would be available in the starter suite. So when you click on marketing, as you may know in Salesforce Enterprise, um, you know, campaigns is, is just an object, right? Uh, it doesn't really help you do more things unless you know how to use a flow and know how to build really nice email content. But this walks you right through it. Talks about creating your audience, creating content, and then creating campaigns. So we've already got a little bit of audience created and some content. So let's just look at this test campaign. When you go to the test campaign, well, actually, let me step back and I'll click new campaign. So instead of just 
basic campaign, you'll get you will have to put a name. Let's just do test two. It'll ask you, what are you looking to accomplish? You're doing a single email, message series, a blank email. Um, obviously, this is the the coveted one, which everybody that uh, probably uses Salesforce wants. So let's hit message series. That's going to go ahead and start generating your campaign. I'm going to go back to my test campaign. And what it did, it already threw in a couple uh, email contents. And I can click on those. And as you can see in the email content editor, there's some really pretty nice emails. Sometimes it's really hard in Lightning email templates to build nice emails. But the Lightning email uh, template manager is really, really clean. Um, again, impressed with uh, the user interface to be able to build email campaigns, email content. Um, in the starter package here. As you can see, you can add different elements, buttons, dividers, headings, logos. Uh, you can include a list. I'm assuming that's a list of records. So it just really looks nice. Very impressed. So it's one thing to create a campaign. It's another thing to create emails. Now, how do we schedule those so that we can actually set schedule, uh, you know, drip campaigns, right? So let's go back to our campaign, test campaign. So as you can see, our beautiful little logo of Flow, and let's open the Flow. And it opens a pre-configured Flow that's basically set up for you to do some email messaging. So I didn't do anything here. I literally hit Open Flow and it opened this for me. So we've got a trigger, right? We can set a schedule. Uh, we segmented out a different segment list for large customers. We don't have any contacts in there, but it's really easy to do. Uh, and then, well, there's some exit rules, which is really nice because, as you know, if you trigger multiple emails that go over, let's say, 3, 5, 15 days, you want people to be able to exit those in case they do respond in some way. We can choose our email. You just simply hit Edit Element. Choose what email uh, you want to use. That's a promotional one that was already set up. You can even choose your sender. You can even track clicks and opens. Way cool. Uh, wait a day. You can add a wait element. So let's say you want to add a wait element down here. Wait for an amount of time. But look at all the elements you can do in Flow. You get loops, collections, get records, update records, transform, delete records. And from what I can find, Flow is fully available in the setup menu. So hopefully this gives you some content. But then the next feature, I just want to look through the setup menu and look at all the different things that you can do. So you can enable MFA. Um, you know, obviously manage your users. It is limited to those 10 users. Um, as far as data, you can export your data. There's duplicate management, mass transfer records. Uh, take a look at storage usage. So there is going to be a limit of storage usage, right? If you can't continue to increase um, people, but the way uh, increase your users to then increase your usage. But from what I know of Salesforce, every record uh, takes two kilobytes of data. So if you did the math, um, one kilobyte so 10 gigabytes. Sorry, I got to figure this out in my head. So it's like 10 million. No, that's it's 10 billion divided by two. That's like that's like five million records you could have in the starter suite. I don't know many enterprises that have five million records. You can manage your emails. You got Gmail integration. You got Outlook integration. Different feature settings, even sites, digital experiences. You've got marketing. Different assignment rules. Web to lead. Uh, even some LinkedIn lead generation. So connect your LinkedIn accounts. A lot of really great features. Objects and fields. You want to go to the object manager. Object manager is available for you. So what you're typically used to seeing in uh, Salesforce, you can see here as well. In Salesforce Enterprise, I should say. Um, again, we have Einstein, even some Einstein um, you know, sales and search settings, data policies, activity capture, events. Yeah, just consistently blown away. I did notice that there isn't sandboxes. So you have to use scratch orgs instead of sandboxes. So that could get 
um, you know, a little, little interesting. User engagement, there's guidance center, integrations, and I'm not sure if there's APIs or not. When I go to company information, it does show that you can get um, uh, APIs. So someone will have to, to check me on that one, but it says 15,000 max as far as API requests. So I'm assuming you can use some APIs in this edition, which is pretty amazing because it's not even available in professional edition. Your company information, data classifications, user engagement environment. So anyway, there's a lot of great information. There's even a commerce button here. Um, I haven't played with commerce much in Salesforce, but it looks like you can uh, connect uh, to the commerce platform right in um, Salesforce Starter or S Salesforce Small Business. So great information. Hopefully this is helpful as you decide Salesforce. And the big, obviously, uh, you know, selling point of this, it's only $25 per user per month. Pretty amazing. Um, it's really hard to hit that, uh, you know, beat that price point. So if you guys need any sort of consultation services, um, I know we'd absolutely be able to help you out on Starter Suite. We don't do it a lot. Uh, we're mainly in enterprise or above uh, additions in the customers that we support. But if you're a small business and you want to get started on Starter Suite, we could absolutely put together a uh, implementation package, help you get your data set up, the training, get the right fields and uh, necessary things that you're looking to do, even trigger some of those marketing campaigns. Um, really a, a great feature that I'm really blown away that's available in the Starter Suite. So hopefully this helps you in your path with Salesforce and uh, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to Fostering. Thanks.